So the Hyderabad E-Prix saw a very dramatic end to the race, a battle for the lead between Jean-Eric Verne in the DS Penske and Nick Cassidy in the Envision racing car. It was tight. De Gea was having to do some incredible defending. It was all about energy. Let's take a look at how those last few laps unfolded, starting here on board with Nick Cassidy as he tries to set up his first overtake on current leader at the time, Jean-Eric Verne. Now, going into this straight, it's a nice long straight. He's setting up, he's in the slipstream. He's got more speed than Jeff. He's up on energy significantly. And you can see now where he's trying to get on the outside of Jeff. But what Jeff does is pushes him over to this, put, this part of the circuit. And then if we just look here and roll back a little bit there, let's take a look at exactly here because where Jeff has forced Cassidy is the worst part of the circuit. It's where all of the dirt is, all of the dust has been pushed from the circuit into the side. And it's not where you want to be to make an overtake. It's going to put you out of shape. It's going to make a braking very difficult. You're going to lose grip. You're going to potentially lock up. It's the best place to be for Jeff when uh, someone's trying to overtake you. And we see how that plays out is exactly what happens. He doesn't quite do it. He loses the speed, loses the shape, and has to tuck in very closely behind Jeff. And I will just show you that because I want to show you how close that actually is. Look at that. Cassidy is, could not be more on the bumper of Jeff right there. He's literally t kissing him. There we go. Right. And we play it through, and this is what happens over the next few laps, because Cassidy is significantly up on energy at this point. There's a good 2-3% more than what Jeb's got. Jeb's holding on for dear life. He's having to put himself in all of the best positions to stop the overtake from happening, uh, whilst maintaining his energy and recouping as much as he can through the corners. And you can see in this clip how Jeb slows into the corners much earlier than Nick Cassidy, because he's having to. He's having to recoup, he's having to save energy to make sure he finishes this, this position uh, in, in, in first place. And Nick Cassidy wants the win, but he also doesn't want to jeopardise the, the podium. So he's He's probably not going as hard as he could. Uh, and here's another perfect example of what Jeb does really well to stop the overtake from happening. Because we get to this point here, if you're Nick Cassidy, your aim is use a slipstream, get tucked behind, take, make the overtake around this way uh, and get ahead into the corner, exit. And because he's got more energy, he would disappear again. The, the win would be here, it's no problem. But what Jeb's going to do is come down here and put himself right in this position, exactly where Cassidy wants to be, force him onto the brakes uh, and then be able to build a little bit of a gap out of the corner to protect himself for the next few corners and we see that is what happens right across in the perfect zone blocks the move from happening gets a better en in uh, entrance into the corner a better exit and you can see there's a bigger gap there than we've seen in any of this clip so far between the front two drivers because there we go look jev is it's kind of like that and get a bit more light on it you can see there's much more of a gap there than we've seen at any point in this clip so far and that's because what jev did into the corner to make that move impossible for cassidy and this happened for the next few laps it was a it was a constant battle Cassidy was trying to make the move almost every corner he could probably not going as hard as he could have but Jeb was making it very very difficult and that leads us right up to the point if we go towards the end of this clip the last few corners where the race finished where the race was won by Jean-Eric Verne round about here last corner and then this is the moment right there if we go play through this very slowly you can see how close it is across the line. The line's around about here, start finish line, and there's less than a second between them. So that was how he did it. That's how Jeff won the Hyderabad e -Prix. Probably some energy management and defensive masterclasses. We're gonna see this weekend as well because Cape Town is a very energy hungry circuit and we're gonna see this sort of action towards the end.